Hey everybody, welcome back. We're back out here to a, another workshop cart unboxing slash review. Right now I'm going to do an unboxing and then I will follow it up with a review and some better light. But it's nice and quiet in here and I'm surrounded by my tools. So I'm happy to be in here and I'm happy to make a video for you. So let's get on with this unboxing this baby is from blade hq and i saw that when he placed an order on blade hq right now you get this cool free patch so i think my free patch is in this box i'm hoping and get to show it to you. Uh, I always like opening these boxes because it's so nice. It's always the same thing and you could get like you know something really special and it could be in there and you just dig through and you just don't know what it is and we're digging. Is there anything in here? Oh there's something. Look at that box, that's really cool. So let me put that down. And you know what? I'm not seeing my patch, guys. I'm not seeing my patch. Oh, I found the patch. I had to dump all the bubbles out on the ground. There he is. Look at that guy, he's so cool. Nice. That is an awesome patch. I don't think he'll be around for too long. You guys better get, get something from there so you can get your free patch. I'll put him over here for now. Yeah, you can't see him. There you go. Let him hang out right here. So... This right here is a pretty cool presentation. I like it. It's like Jackson Pollock kind of art. And there it says Big Knives. And over here we have the number which is BG015. BG015. And over there, same thing. All right, I like the logo. We talked about that in my last video when I showed you guys this. Now, I got this knife, and when I got this knife, it just was just oozing quality. And I wanted to give this knife company a try and get something a little bigger and I, I have been whittling with this I'm not going to show you what it is yet or what it looks like I think I mentioned it's a rabbit but I'll show you when I'm done and I'm doing all the detail work with this little knife which is really cool so back to this one this one's really cool Stay tuned. All right, everybody. We're back inside. Better lighting. So, I don't know. You guys can leave some comments if you feel like in the, in the comment section to see if that lighting is okay in my, in my workshop. So I did the unboxing out there. It's a little more quiet. Um, and I had some natural light. So I was trying to use that and do an unboxing out there but I don't know so we're in here underneath some better lighting and it is early Saturday morning and I just got this yesterday and I just want to show you some things about this knife that are just simply astounding to me for the price point so, number one, 
The VG10 Damascus blade is just stunning. I just think it's mesmerizing and when when and if you buy one of these and I think a lot of people are on, are on the fence with this knife and I hope to sway all of you I'm going to push you over the fence and you're going to go buy it it's it's so nice it's like that inlay there are no gaps there's no imperfections I, I looked and I looked and I looked and I couldn't find any gaps. I have much more expensive knives that have little spaces and gaps in there where they've done inlay into titanium. And yeah, I get it. A titanium is milling that is a little different than milling stainless steel. But this company makes really high-end knives and that shows in this in every shape in every way you've got some material moved, removed from inside so you've got some weight savings this is a four ounce knife in this variant with the G10 inlay stainless steel handles and then the VG10 Damascus blade the liner lock, nested liner lock, is so beautiful and works. You can just pass your thumb over and push it. As you can see, I am literally doing it right in front of you. And then the blade is starting to fall a little better. It's brand new. I haven't done anything to it yet. I have seen a couple of guys immediately take it apart and lube it and there's performed a little better so I might do the same thing and it is a JVO design that's Jared Van Otterloo's cool logo and then there's the bag knife B I love the B because my name is Rob Brown I love that that's so cool like I got my own name on my knife it's a brown knife so let me just say another thing about this is pocket clip the pocket clip kicks some butt so you know from my other videos my knives go in here and the first thing I do is I get the knives and I test it in here. So this is how this performed. I, was, I had this on my belt and I just slid this down on it and it just rode right over the leather. That leather, you can see, is pretty thick. So that to me is an awesome pocket clip awesome retention and that ceramic ball just works so well I I don't know why that that is not done across the board on every knife it just works so well and it's so appealing to me it is appealing to me maybe not you but I, I kind of kind of got a good eye and the ball kind of was just like a cincher for me I was just like yeah I need to see that in action so funny thing is I got this little wee mini slip joint bag the other day and it came with this nice cloth in this big box and in this pouch the interesting thing I find is this beautiful knife came in this wee box and in this wee box 
all you had was the plastic and congrats on the paperwork. I don't know. I really think that this knife deserves a pouch. So I'm giving this knife a pouch and this thing is going somewhere else. <clears throat> Yes, I would, so what I'm saying is, in short, and you're reading between the lines, beg people, send this in a pouch. Honor the beauty and the craftsmanship that you've provided this knife, and stick it in a pouch. We'd all appreciate it a little bit more as collectors. And it says a little bit more about your company. You can afford pouches, I know that, and this definitely deserves a pouch. Enough said about pouches. I don't know why it didn't come with one, but I don't care. But what I did do is I do like bags so much. I have this in the full size, exactly like this full size coming. And it was like $53. So I'll show you that when I get it. So when I, I want to show you one other comparison here is, so as far as size goes, we have the Kaiser original. And if the blades literally are, here I'll put this, both blades right up to the tip of the gray here. And you can see that the blade lengths are almost identical. Handle length is longer on the original and for a big hand like mine that sticks out at the bottom so it's really a little extra down there. So this knife with my hand is right down right down to the bottom and it's got good ergos. I don't feel that pocket clip at all. There's no there's no sharp edges on the pocket clip. It's kind of I mean this 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 edge here is a little sharp, but this bend over here is smooth and you don't feel that, which is nice. So just a little touch on the ergos. See, it's getting better already. It's falling faster and faster just as I'm playing with it right here on camera. Beautiful knife. I highly, highly, highly suggest it. Let me give you some quick specs on it if I haven't already, but I'm going to give it to you inside here in the light. Overall length is 7 inches. The blade length is three inches on it and the clothes length or handle length is four inches and the thickness right there is 0.57 inches and the cutting edge is 2.95 inches and like I said it is four ounces if I didn't say, it is four ounces. Beautiful knife. Highly suggest. Okay, everybody, I'm going to let you go. Enjoy your weekend. It's Memorial Day weekend, so you get an extra day. Have fun. Take care. And I'm not going to say all that other stuff everybody else says. Like and subscribe, everybody. Peace.